Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes look at how I shot this leaf skeleton macro photo. I've been working on a series of leaf skeleton photographs, and this is the latest one. Before I show you my very simple setup, let's look at the detail of the image. You know, most people see our photographs on social media, or maybe on a website, all of which are necessarily low resolution, but that doesn't always give you a true impression of what's really inside an image. To me, the beauty of these leaf skeletons are the intricate details that are deep inside the leaf structure. I sell really large prints, uh, sometimes up to 60 inches or more, so it's important to me that the details look really good inside this leaf. There's a look at the back of my camera with the settings that I use to get the shot. To get that crisp detail, I use a backlit light table that I found on Amazon. I think this cost me less than $20 when I bought it, but it's super bright and the light is pretty even. Here's a better look at the light table. I'll put a link in the description. You're seeing a sheet of glass on top of it to hold the leaf down flat. The light table uses USB power and I reused an old Apple charger to plug it in. Would you look at this beautiful thing? I'm just amazed by these. These old dead leaves cast off little specks of debris you'll have to clean up either before shooting or later on in post. And as you can see, the leaf doesn't lie flat. That's the reason for the glass on top. Of course, any macro lens would work, but I use a wonderful old Canon EF 100 millimeter macro lens adapted for my camera with an MC11 adapter. It works really well. Anyways, I hope this is helpful to someone out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.